I decided to do this video because I wanted to start the year sort of introducing everyone. Ooh, decided to kind of give you guys an introduction into who I am, what I do, my story, basically. Um, I honestly don't know what to do with this video. Okay, it's not scripted, it's not planned, and um, I'm just sharing with you guys my story because I want to take creating content on YouTube a lot seriously. I feel like last year I wanted to do it but I was not very focused and I ended up not being able to consistently do it and I feel like I had a lot of lousy expectations for how I was supposed to perform. Not lousy in the sense of they were not big enough but they were a little bit too big because I was doing content, posting to Instagram three times a day and that alone like major content not like childish content like blog post content value packed content and so for me it became really really difficult to do all of that and still consistently upload and edit and also try to build a business in fact what was happening is that i was becoming more and more of a content creator than a business owner. My name is Damon Oko. For those of you who are new here and don't know me, I am in my middle twenties. I from I am from Nigeria. I created Hello Founder last year, I think sometime around August September. Um, but I'd already been creating content before that. And before Hello Founder, I had launched two businesses with my um, my friend and my co-founder then Evie and we'd managed to hit a million within six months. We'd raised funding of one million bucks and after two years we shut down. The business was growing, customers were coming in. Um, and our team had expanded from two to seven people but we made a lot of mistakes that came back to bite us in the ass and then we just ended up shutting down the business and by the end of that experience guys i was broke i was emotionally physically mentally exhausted like i was just like tired and i was really ashamed of all of that because I really put my heart and soul into it. I managed to blow up the investment money, but beyond that also, I managed to blow up my money as well. So all of my savings went right into my business. Um, I, I actually almost sold my car, so it was that bad, okay? Um, and then about two, three weeks, four weeks into the process and just me crying and just being home, refusing to go out, I decided to like open this book. It's Gary V's Crushing It. So I opened the book just to read it. And as I kept reading, I realized that I had lessons that I felt like I needed to share with people. And I literally could make a difference by just going on Instagram and creating content around what I had been through and trying to help other people avoid that same experience. I mustered up the confidence and I started to create content. I started to post content around business, personal development, all of that good stuff. I was just like creating more and more and more content. I was doing three times a day. I was working my ass off. I was giving my soul, my body, okay, <laughs> to all of that. I was going live on Instagram. I was creating, like I was just doing content creation and building my community. And I'll be very honest, it worked, okay? I was building a community so fast but i was also burning out so fast i burnt out four times in 11 months it was that bad and for a long time i didn't know why i was burning out and then aside from that i wasn't making any money in the first six months when i started to make real money in my business um I, I wasn't really making money on the level that i wanted to make it so after about 12 months i woke up in june which is like the anniversary for me creating content i woke up and i just felt out of my space like i felt like something was not right like i felt like something was not adding up for me to be honest i'm doing this video and i'm thinking well does this really sound like me is this really and i don't know how you guys how this how i sound you guys watching but i'm gonna just keep doing this okay anyways i felt really out of space and all of that and i just felt like something was missing and as i thought a lot I took a two month break, which is the longest break I've ever taken from Instagram and from working. I took the break and by the time I came back, I knew why I was burning out. I also knew that I had been working on building a personal brand and when I look at my life 10 years from now, I don't want to be Diamond Oko, you know, like that's the brand and everybody's like Diamond Oko, no. I want to build something more like 
you've got Virgin and you've got Richard Branson, okay? Um, so something that really outlives me. I don't want to have a personal brand like you have Oprah or Marie Folio. Like, I love what they stand for. I admire them. But I want to have a business and personal brand and have them work hand in hand with each other. Like, that's what I want. If you think about a business that I've built, you think about me, you think about me, you think about the business. Like Steve Jobs and Apple. Facebook of Max Zuckerberg. So when I realized that, I started to ask myself, okay, what then do you really want to do? And for me, is that I really want to help people build startups. I really want to help people take their ideas from their mind to reality. I want to help people avoid shutting down like I did. I know how to launch. I know how to launch businesses um, the, the right way so that you're not drowning, making silly mistakes, and then like just falling on your face. I know how to do that. And for me, it's like that is what I really want to do, okay? Like I want to have something like Y Combinator where I'm helping startups and I'm helping people launch businesses, honey. This is what I'm really passionate about. And so... I had to come up with a business that was doing that, which is how I came up with the business that I'm running now called Hello Founder. When I'm not running Hello Founder, I am working for my family at a company called Zara. So it's not Zara, the clothing line. It's not Z-A-H-Z-A-R-A, it's Z-A-H-R-A. It's a company here in Nigeria that's into cosmetics. So I have like a day job and that's what I do. And I am in charge of the saloon department really in charge like i manage the salon department currently i used to do a lot of consulting client work that's like outside what hello founder is about but 2020 for me it's about really focusing on making money doing what i love not making money doing things that have nothing to do with what i love um i just wanted to make this video just as a way to if you're watching this for you to really get to know who I am because I want to take YouTube seriously in 2020 and the years after that I want to create more content on this platform and I really want it to be from a good place I don't want it to be because I'm trying to have 1 million subscribers I mean that would be nice and a part of my brain often goes there like well, imagine if you had 1 million subscribers these people will be paying you so much money honey but I feel like when your motivation is wrong, you're not going to have the tenacity to keep pushing and, and moving forward and sort of like building the kind of impact that you want to build. So I don't want this to be about 1 million subscribers. I want this to be about really helping people launch businesses, really helping them start building their dream businesses, um, helping them solve problems. Like this is what I really want it to be. It's about seven. <coughs> I feel like this is the most boring video. <laughs> I feel like this video is probably boring, but I don't know. Like, I'm not, I don't have the like pumped up, y'all know it feeling going on. Um, I want to know you. If you're watching this video, where are you from? Do you have a business? Um, what are you up to currently? What do you do for a living? Like I told you guys about my business and my career, I want to get to know you, okay? Um, just leave it in the comment section, tell me your name, where you're from, and I'll just reply and we would hit it off and I don't know, I honestly don't know how this whole thing works. Well, I don't have a specific day of the week when I upload, like I'm thinking about saying, oh I upload on this day and that day, but right now for me it's like, I don't have a specific day when I upload videos <laughs> because I don't want to say I'm uploading on this day and then that day comes and I'm not consistent and you guys say, oh she's not serious and just like, disappear on me no i want to just show up and really really do this on this channel we are going to be talking a lot about business a lot about personal development like just that good stuff i am more of a sit down and talk kind of a person i don't know if i'll do vlogs i've tried to do vlogs and guys holy crap that is a lot of work shooting editing it's like so much work and i'm currently shooting with my phone like that's what i'm shooting with Hopefully, I'll be getting the iPhone X Max, and I'll also be getting my Mac, my first ever Mac laptop. So that would make editing and shooting easier. But still, okay, like 
trying to shoot a vlog is a lot of work i also hope to do interviews someday in the future i don't want to start getting all big and say we're going to do this and do that and then i don't end up doing any of that like that's not what i want to do okay i want to actually say what i'm going to do not making promises i can't keep <laughs> i don't want to do that okay so in the process of building my business hello founder and i would like you guys to get to see how i do it how i am trying to make my dream life happen i would like you guys to be a part of that story um and just see me walk through the process thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video